Welcome to another vlog. It's been a while since I brought you to work and uh, this summer has really turned into becoming way busier than we were expecting it with this whole COVID climate. But Toronto has opened up and we are going full throttle and full blast, which is both a blessing and a curse. Couple of housekeeping things I wanna let you all know about. The plumbing math course is officially 10% off for this entire week. I did a poll recently. I realized that there were a handful of you that were really waiting for some sort of discount so I wanted to give that out to you so you can purchase it if this is the best time for you to get it. In today's vlogs I want to focus on drains just to show you a couple of situations that have showed up in the past and that way we could talk about a few details that are worth noting that'll help you on the job site if you ever come up to these situations at hand. And at the end of this video I'm actually going to be introducing you all to the newest member of our family so you can wait to the end to see that. So peeps let's get to work let's have some fun. Oh Oh, and by the way, peeps, you know what to do, baby. Let's go do some delicious plumbing. So peeps, I wanted to quickly pop into the studio to talk about what's going on in this drain call right here. This is something that has happened a few times to me, but for me, I find it's on the rarer side. So when I caught it on tape, I was like, oh, thank goodness. So we can talk about what we're getting into. And that way, if you see it happen on the job site, you know exactly where the clog is actually sitting. So here's the situation that we're in. We have ourselves a laundry tub that has cabinetry right underneath it. And as you go down on the P-trap, we come to a stack behind the wall that goes above flood level rim and that's where the vent is connected and it continues going up through open air. And we have this pipe right here. And this pipe is essentially called a stand pipe. A stand pipe is a pipe designed to stand parallel to the laundry tub so that the washing machine can actually drain in Inside. So you're gonna have a machine either to your left or to your right and it's gonna have a drain that connects here And once the laundry machine is done doing the laundry it drains the cycle and it goes into the standpipe It connects before the trap that way sewage gases don't go into the house and it goes through the trap and then it goes to the stack Etc. So now that we've gotten that out of the way Here's essentially what's happening. We have a tub that's filled up with water and the moment I notice that I think to myself Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up like you saw on this video and I'm gonna try to drain it into this bucket but as soon as I opened up all this water that was in the tub didn't drain whatsoever so as soon as that happened I said to myself okay see normally when something is clogged a lot of the times I meet a drain that's clogged somewhere around here or somewhere at the TY or something like that. And the reason why I know that is because what happens is, is when I open this pipe here, all the water from here starts draining out and all the water from up here starts draining out as well. So I have quite a bit of water coming through. But what's interesting is the moment I open up this union, the water inside the tub itself does not start draining throughout. And I sat back and I went to myself, okay, I know exactly where the clog is. So basically what this means, if you follow this with logic, because water didn't rush out of here immediately like it normally does, I knew that there had to be a clog before the union of the trap. And as you see inside here, that's exactly where the clog is. The clog is actually taking place inside the trap.
So you've seen me put together a lot of kitchen drains and you're about to see me take on another one. But I want to focus on a small little detail that causes people to realize that their drain is finished and they need a new one. So let's watch this a little bit and I'll explain to you what happened. So as you can see here, peeps, we have probably a 24-year-old drain. I think it's original to when the building was built. And as you can see at the beginning, there's duct tape wrapped around it. It looks like it's been through a couple of wars. I mean, it's just a complete disaster. So I've had this situation occur a couple of times upon finishing the installation of a drain like this where I realize that it's actually clogged. And it makes a lot of sense because the average person that's not a plumber is only sensitive when they see water. When they see water, all of a sudden in their mind, a red flag goes off and they say okay something is going wrong we have to fix this and in a lot of situations they will let the drain age and age and age and they will never care about the state of the actual pipes but it isn't until they see water leaking from those pipes that they finally say okay I think it's time for a new drain and this is the situation right here what essentially happens is is when the drain clogs the water cannot evacuate the drain as fast as it's supposed to so it ends up pressurizing water builds up in the drain drain and it just gets higher and higher and higher and all the unions and all the joints of the drain take on the most amount of volume and the most amount of water that it can handle and then you start seeing leaks through the cracks and people start realizing wow the drain's not only suffering from one area it's actually suffering overall there's a couple of places that it's leaking so it's a little bit of a sticky situation because you originally gave a price for a brand new drain installation but now you got to sit back and give them a brand new price for drain unclogging and sometimes customers don't realize that those are two separate things nor do they want them to be separate things I've had customers turn to me and go isn't that part of it and I'm going Listen, I didn't tell you I was going to do the labor for getting rid of a clog. That's an entirely different thing. That's like taking your car to the mechanic for wheels and saying, Oh, I thought you were going to do the brakes and add that in. That's just not how service works, unfortunately. So here's another situation where you kind of got to be patient and explain to the customer and then get your K50 and start snaking that drain. So peeps, a little bit of a shorter video in regards to the pipes, but let's get to the topic at hand why you've probably waited to the end of the video. I want to introduce you to the newest member of our family. This is <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Alrighty peeps, so Molly is a Belgian Malinois. We've had her for a month now. She's a handful, but I think we're getting the hang of her. Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you plumbers very soon. Kenny Molotov, guys. Peace, baby.